Okay, <clears throat> I have uh, got myself organized right down to the bar, I tell you. I was running around, making sure I had everything together, making sure that everything was prepped and ready for this live stream. And um, for those of you who have been wondering, Fred usually here about a minute before he actually starts. Well, I was just jumping up and down stairs, sanding things and stuff. Okay, sound check is good. Now you'll find I have closed the window, so if you feel that there's like a bit of a reverberation, it's because I have to, there's a chipper going on outside. So the, uh, the window is closed and I have egg cartons in front of my window. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. You'll find the start time for this video down in the description somewhere. Um, I usually do my presentation and then open it up for questions and answers, but you are welcome to paint, make miniatures, or chat with me as I try to put together an earth elemental, which I've been wanting to do for ages. So let's get started and go from there. Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler and today I'm going to make a Dungeons and Dragons miniature. I'm going to try to make it as cheaply and as easily as possible. Um, I have a whole bunch of materials which I will go through as we as we do this video. I have tried to make sure most of that content or information is in the description so if you need to check the materials I'm using should be down there in the description. So <clears throat> you are welcome to chat along with me as we make an earth elemental. Now even though the image, the picture is of quite a large um, earthy creature, elemental beasty creature thingy, I decided that actually I'm going to go with something slightly smaller. Um, not small or medium because that just gives me like heart palpitations. I was thinking more in the line of this sort of size sort of miniature. No, I'm only kidding. Probably large. We're going to go with large size. So I picked a few images off the internet to sort of give me some ideas. And I also selected some um, uh, just artwork that I thought I would use as ideas for how to construct my earth elemental. And I decided that since Earth Elementals are supposed to be large in Dungeons and Dragons 5e, that's what I would go with. So I have selected a few elementals that I thought would be sort of appropriate and that I would sort of base my miniature on. Okay, how's it going Admiral Akbar? And hi Chris. I don't hear any um, wood chipper noise. For what it's worth, that's because I closed the window. So I have, I've probably shown you most of these elemental miniatures before. Uh, this is a, um, an, a wall elemental. I looked at it and I was thinking, I was very tempted to do this because I was thinking, this has got actually got to be pretty easy to do, right? Can't be that hard to make something like that. So I was very tempted. I decided, no, I would try to be a little bit more adventurous. So I'm, I'm putting that one aside for now. Um, I looked at this and I thought, no, he looks like he's on the go. He's going for a jog or a run. So I wouldn't make anything much like this. So I've decided no for this one. I was very tempted to consider this, but just make it bigger. Uh, just because I liked the idea of it being sort of having a big head rather than a small head. Often you see earth elementals and they, they have like small heads, like they've got a small brain and they're stupid or something like this. This still looks stupid, but um, it's just got a spiky head. So I thought it was a good idea, just the size needed to be a bit bigger. And then I noticed this miniature. And it made, remind, reminded me of that movie uh, Frozen, um, you know, where there's the snow beast. And although this is a frost elemental, it's a, uh, an ice, a large ice elemental, I was feeling like the structure of it was kind of what I wanted. And so therefore, I would have a go at trying to do something like this. We're going to go with the sort of uh, the chiseled body, no, I'm only kidding, the, chis the chiseled body of Arnold Schwarzenegger, no. I don't think I could handle that, but I thought it would be easier to make something like this than to make something else. So that is going to be my template. This is what I'm going to aim for, but just not icy. That's the idea anyway. Okay, so what am I using today? I'll put that over there so I have at least a, an image of what I've got. Um, you guys won't be able to necessarily see what's going on, of course, because I'm, it's facing the wrong way for you, but um, I can. Um, that's good news for me, right? <laughs> Um, I don't even know if that'll help help you much. Will it help you much? Oh, you can see part of it there, part of it, part of it, like that. Okay, yeah, there. Okay, so that's what I'll leave it there for now until it gets in the way, and then I'll move it. 
So what I've decided is to use EVA foam because I was watching Black Magic Craft and I was watching The Bard Craft and a couple of other YouTube channels and I also sort of remember somebody else making something very similar years ago on Facebook and a few other locations and I thought I would try using EVA foam. Problem is in New Zealand getting EVA foam is actually really really difficult. But I did get some. And I have to say thank you very much for uh, Roll for Damage. He might not be aware of it, but PJ gave me the idea because I spotted his video on how to make dungeon tiles. And he had this sort of thing, this interlocking foam. And it's got like little numbers for kids, you know, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. And then I realized that when I was looking at the packaging, oh, it's EVA foam. So I bought myself a big pack of this for very cheap. And I'm going to use this stuff to actually cut it up and make the different parts of my miniature. And I'm gonna stick everything together with um, hot glue, which means you're gonna to get to see me screaming and yelling as I burn myself. Um, and I'm gonna use paper clips as pins to hold it all together. So I've got a large, thick paper clip here, and I'm just gonna fold it out, straighten it a little bit, and that'll be my pins as I join everything together. So shouldn't be too difficult to do, right? You'd think. Considering the, the disaster of the last video, which really I'll, it didn't look like a needle blight to me. It, it might have if you were really sort of um, being nice about it. And I had some very, very nice comments about my, my needle blight. I, I think actually I have a wonderful community and I do appreciate you guys. You're great. Um, so somebody was asking me too, and I, I thought what I would do is just make it clear for why I even do these. What's that, Chris? Shouldn't be too difficult. Famous last words. That's exactly it. It's happened to me a few times, as, as you've discovered. <laughs> so I'm straightening out that paper clip. I think I'll need one, two, three, four, five joints. Join the legs to the body, and then join the arms to the body, and then join the head to the body. And so those five pins should be enough. It looked like a clay golem. A oh, ghoul, a clay ghoul. I've never even heard of clay ghoul, but if it looked like a clay ghoul, it's certainly, okay, I'll go with that. So I, I did it succeed in making a monster, just not a needle blight. <laughs> okay, so I thought I would just mention why I do this. One, I like making stuff. Two, I'm insane, and I will do stuff that I've never done before, which is why you wind up watching me uh, for an hour and a half or five hours broken up into separate sort of streams trying to put and make these things um, so I, I have no sense of um, yeah my sanity is gone and you can call it famous or just stupid one of those things is certainly part of my my makeup but really the reason why I, I started to do it doing it uh, live and why I, uh, I, I decided it was a good idea is because there are so many people who struggle to get hold of miniatures. So I've straightened out two paper clips for my pins. Now I can cut those later and leave them over there. <clears throat> I bought myself a new knife. I do have a couple of knives here, but um, Armel Singh from Vagabond Games in Auckland suggested this. So I've got myself a right cut knife, a Pro Edge, Precision, precision Tools. I certainly hope it's precision. Hi Darren, how's it going? Uh, you haven't missed much. I've, you know me, man. I talk so much, you, you, hardly anything happens. You guys will have to make sure you push me a bit. You say, Fred, come on, make it happen, get it going. So first off, let's get this thing out of the packet. Just so this is supposed to be really good. Probably means I'm going up cutting myself. Look at that nasty little piece of work there. Woo! Yeah, there's going to be blood on this. Uh, <clears throat> no, no, we don't want blood. No blood. How's it going, Joe Smiley? Hey, um, that's what I watched. Uh, watch to see Fred go. What? Why I watch? Why I watch to see Fred go? Nine minutes. Nine minutes in. Okay, so let's do some legs. Um, I feel like I've got to start with a base. Oh, almost forgot. This is my base. Now I've made this base before. I did a video on it. It's made out of MDF board or medium density fiber board. It is, I would say, roughly seven and a half millimeters, which if you want imperial, um, you know, 
I'm in New Zealand. Um, look it up. Okay. <laughs> but basically it's the same size as the base that I want for my miniature, which is large. And then I sand it off the corners after I cut off the corners with a knife or some sandpaper very, very quickly. That's why it took me so long to get here. Um, so I think the first thing is, is cutting this sort of part of a leg. So I'm going to go with like a triangle piece. Um, I've gone with pink so you can see things. So if you're wondering, Fred, do you like pink? I'll say no. No, I don't like wearing pink. But I'm going to use it and I'll do like a... I think what I will do is I will just roughly gauge how long that leg is and I'm going to try to duplicate it as much as I possibly can. So I'd say about the length of the knife. So the length of the knife is roughly there. So let's say... So like that. That was really... Um, <laughs> if you wanted exact precision here, probably not. I can actually use the squares on here to actually give me an idea and you an idea of what I'm doing. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, or six and a bit. So we'll just cut through there and make it wide enough that I can work with it. Start with a square and then trim it down. Uh, the, the cutting surface is a a proper cutting surface it's the army painter um, cutting mat for those of you who are wondering what that's all about that's where it is from so there's one square I want to do another square roughly the same size and then I'll trim it and oh, come here stay stay and cut and then do it again do and then I just, oh, yeah, like that's a straight line, Fred. Yeah, let's just cut through there. As always, try not to cut towards yourself. Of course, I'm probably going to do that very, very soon and then get myself into trouble. I should have made sure to bring the um, band-aids with me um, so that it was sitting on the desk ready to go. I feel like this knife is just too lethal for me. I need a grown-up around. <clears throat> oh, by the way, if you're doing this sort of thing, you probably should have a grown-up doing a little cutting. Or use scissors. Why didn't I think of that? I could have cut it all out with scissors. Okay. So now, now that we've got that, I want to sort of trim in and put it on an angle and sort of give them a kneecap, I guess. So we'll just, I'll just, I'll just slice one slice like so, and then go from there. Junk. Um. I know what you're thinking, Fred. Uh, I don't think it's going to look like what you thought, and you are probably right. But I figure what I do is I do this a couple of times, I build it up sort of a little bit so that it, it's sort of thicker than it is currently, and that'll give me a decent, so two of those together should make a decent size sort of um, elemental leg, right? And then I can just chop away and cut it away and make it a little bit more less symmetrical and yeah let's do that again oh I missed it yeah there we go just like that and that is probably still a bit too big but we won't worry about it just keep moving if we keep cutting we will eventually get there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut against that one. And slice it. And I'm going to glue these with uh, hot glue. So for those of you who had showed up um, hoping to see me burn myself, this is going to be your opportunity very, very, very soon. And I will, I will um, make sure, careful, put the knife back in there without cutting myself. There you go. And we'll ditch all of those little bits and pieces. I might use them later, I don't know. Okay, so now I'm going to glue this together. And then decide if I need to shape it down to make it sort of fit where I want it to go. It looks very, very big. It does look very, very big, Fred. But let's not worry about it now. Flat side to flat side. Chuck a pin through there. Uh, what's that, Chris? I'm anxious to see how this will look at the end. Mate, I'm far more anxious than you. 
I wonder if I can just cheat and just shove it through there. And then just cut it off and then stick it together. Ooh, let's do that. Um, <laughs> it's very scientific, I, I know. Um, <laughs> it's, no, I don't need the pin to be too long. But I will cut it off there and then trim it down and make it shorter. Cut. And the pin will be too long, of course. Come off. There we go. That's uh, pin one. And it's too long, so we will push it through so that uh, it can be shorter and see if it works. I'm all I'm gonna dry fit as much as I possibly can. Just like so. Eh, come off you right now. Let's just see if that's gonna work. I feel like that is that is good. Stick it below the surface. Yeah. Come on. Ah, she's too long. She's still too long. All right, so now I know how long my pin needs to be. Shorter than this. Which essentially means roughly, I think that's like three of those squares. Now, supposedly from here to here is one inch. So that would be about three fifths of an inch, I guess, for those of you who need to know. And I would say that's roughly, I don't know, maybe 15, I'd say 15 millimeters for those people still working um, in metric. I mean, those people who should be working in metric. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's glue this together. Got my hot glue gun. And I squeeze out the glue. I was, I was kind of expecting like bad things to happen when I did this. I need to be quick about it though, Fred, so don't mess around. Stick the big flat surfaces together, stick the pin through, and I can put glue over the edge of that later. Come here. Flat surface in. Good. Done. Let's make sure the piece at the bottom is flat. What have I got that I can sort of, oh, that cheap nasty knife, that'll do. Darren, you like metric? I um, see. I I did. I was taught imperial when I was at school, and then they came in one day and they said, Fred, to everybody actually, not just to Fred, and they said, you know how you've been using this the, this ruler? Throw it away. You're using this now. You're now using this. It's no more metric. Um, imperial. It's all going to be metric. So forget about the old system. That's essentially how it worked. And um, whether you agree with it or not, I have tried very much to do that okay so here is my base here is my leg my leg is like way bigger than it needs to be seriously it's it's monstrous it's far too tall so I'm gonna trim some down so I'll get my knife now that's glued together so I'm gonna get my first leg sorted out and I'll do my next leg <laughs> uh, da -da 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 push it through Slice it. Slice and dice. Darren, uh, Canada has had metrics since the, the 70s. Yep, that would be about right for um, New Zealand too. I think I was, I think it was still the 70s when I um, went to school. Yep, that was. <laughs> um, uh, there we go. That's uh, this EVA foam is um, is all right, I guess. I've never actually worked with it before. So, just looking at the comparison, what does the comparison sort of look like? I can I feel like this min miniature is going to be bigger than the one I'm making right now. Does that really matter? I'm not sure it does. Slice it, slice it, slice it, slice it, and. Now that I've got that bit there done, I feel like I need to trim some bits off. Yeah, I, the, I feel like uh, something like polystyrene would have probably been a lot easier. But of course you can't hot glue polystyrene unless you want to see the whole thing just disintegrate on you. Um, 
which could be fun too. At least I can sort of cut this off and sort of shape it and go a bit rounder. I guess that's something. I'm, I'm not black magic, so clearly uh, this new knife is um, not doing quite the... It's just because it's got too much give. Is it too soft or what? The sharp, sharp, sharpness of the blade's not good enough. Got some fluffy bits there. I suppose we're going to have some sort of um, defining features. Fluffy bits will do. Come on. Slice it, slice it, dice it. Um, I wonder if I if I shift to a big hoary knife that would help. No. No, it doesn't. No. Uh, it's kind of sharp. We'll stay with this scalpel thing. Yep. There we go. Do it again. The whole idea of not using the polystyrene was that so I could do the build in, in like one in one session. Rather than have to do it multiple times, which I didn't really want to do. But because the foam is so soft, it doesn't sort of stay. Must be different types of density um, foam, right? That'll be what it is. Probably Mr. Black Magic is using really dense um, EVA foam, and I'm not using dense EVA foam, which is why it's giving so much. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is going to be fun. All right. So now that I've got that far, let's try trimming that way. Good lord. It's going to be one of those tricky ones again. It would be nice to have a, a project which actually isn't actually that difficult to put together for once. I would love one. One that does not actually require me to sorry, freak out. Okay. Um, what are we doing here? We're... I might just coat this thing with a bit of glue after just to make it less symmetrical that's probably going to be easier than trying to cut this thing and give it sort of any kind of because i can't get a flat surface on it for, for, to save myself it's like cutting um, marshmallows have you ever used a knife to try and cut a marshmallow that's what it's like marshmallow cutting so i have got the the soft soft eva foam rather than the hard thick firm Firm EVA foam. What's that, Darren? We're a bit um, weird, though. Um, our official units of uh, measure are metric, but the construction industry uses imperial measurements, and most people refer to their height, weight, and imperial as well. Oh, okay. Well, it, it depends. So in New Zealand, it's metric for pretty much everything, apart from engineering, who engineering always uses both metric and imperial. Uh, that's probably a product of having to deal with products overseas, but they, they use both. Okay, all right. That is weird, like super weird. Gonna do it again, trim. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is working really well. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, I'm sure the freakouts are, are fun to watch. Not fun for me though. <laughs> that's that's the that's the problem. Uh, <laughs> uh, All right. So if you get EVA foam, make sure the EVA foam is really thick. And I feel like that pin is going to cause me problems. Mr. Pin, where are you? Can I can I actually get you back out? Come here, Pin. No, of course not. Yeah, there we go. Got the pin. Leave the pin alone, Fred. Forget about the pin. Um, okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to we're going to have a look at this. Decide roughly what I need to do. I'm going to go more of the square lock because this clearly I don't need to make it as big as this. This is way bigger than it needed to be. 
heaps more. Come on, cut off, trim it. Current panic level is two and a half. What is the um, maximum panic level for me? Um, have you established that yet? Let me know, please. Oh, yeah, that's working. Come on. Seriously. Well, the good thing is if you drop it, if I actually get it finished, it won't break. It's sponge, essentially. Get those band-aids ready. Oh, mate, it's 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 all on. I can see it now. I'm probably going to put um, try cutting it. Am I cutting it the wrong way around? No, that's the right way. <laughs> uh, okay. Picking that off. Trimming that ear. Doing that there. Uh, this is really beginning to bug me. This is annoying the heck out of me. All right. Let me um, just move my panic level down just a fraction. <coughs> well, I think you're actually wrong about that, Joe Smile. Um, Joe, um, Chris, Chris, those band aids are going to be needed very shortly. Chris, um, I feel like my panic level, even though it doesn't sound like it, is much higher. See the EVO foam? It was a nice idea. Far out. Waste of time. Waste of time. I'm going to stick with something I know. Aluminium foil. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, guys. Uh, we've seen this before. This is where he throws a complete tizzy fit and suddenly things go completely nasty on you, everybody. Yeah, well, yeah, that's exactly right. So, I can make this sodding thing. But it ain't going to be with little foamy bits of pink stuff. I don't even like pink. God. Yeah, look. All I needed was like little cones. Little flat, triangly things like that. Stick that with... How hard... How long did that take me? It's taken taking me almost 25 minutes to realise the foam was a stupid idea. Okay. Now... I need like some bits to go with this uh, to extend the legs. Right, let's let's go with I don't know. What do we do? Sausages? I don't mean eating sausages. I mean we'll make sausages. Yeah, we'll make sausages. If you can hear tin foil rattling, I'm sorry. Okay, moving that across. So I've got some tin foil. I've folded it in half, and now I'm gonna roll it. Roll it, 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 roll it. Is that enough? Probably not. I'm going to fold it in half again. And does it look roughly like his side of his leg? Part of his backside? It's kind of long. We'll just fold it again. And then squeeze it together. And then I'm going to do another one. Just roll it like a sausage. Sausage rolling. And then fold the thingy. And then fold it again and roll it around so it's kind of narrowish. And then it's too pointy, so I squeeze that over. And then are they roughly the right size? Who knows? I don't care. I'll grab some more tin foil. Uh, and I'm going to grab some more tin foil. And I'm going to roll it around here and make these bits a little thicker. Because I want my miniature not to fall apart so I don't have to do it again uh, that's is that good enough I don't know I don't know if it's good enough I'm gonna jam it in here and see what happens I'm gonna have to pin it too yep I know this I know this I know I have to pin it um, oh oh can I make it smaller can I cut it with my knife I don't think that's actually such a good idea Cut with this knife. I cut, I cut the foil with the knife. There we go. Put the foil over there, and then get a bit more tin foil. Wrap it around a couple more times, because it's looking very flat and not very sort of fat. Well, I want a fat leg. Fat leg with. Who cares, Fred? You can just coat it with glue. What were you thinking? Seriously, what the heck? Uh, that is 
that doesn't really count as a as a leg. Is it sort of part of a leg, but doesn't matter as long as the thing has got some bits to it and some height and okay we'll pin that in the second if I can figure out how to make that work and then that's right I've got these things oh look at that solve that problem you'll want pliers tin foil when you squish it up gets very 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 hard to maneuver and I'm gonna I'm gonna roll that again rolling it roll it in the tin foil make it a bit thicker bam and then shoot it new like that shove it I don't know will it work well I don't know I'm gonna grab uh, a bit of this paper clip I cut the paper clip I might as well use the paper clip right and I know what I'll do I'm gonna jam it in this bit here first and then I'll shove it into the little bit there yeah what were you thinking Fred, this is not going to work. Just yes, it did. Yes, it did. Ha <laughs> ha! There's my pin. I made my pin. Okay. All right. So that's that's not brilliant, but it's better. And then we cut it off. The pin. How far does the pin go? When I don't care. And let's just cut it there. Pull. And then we're going to pin that thing with some glue. Yep. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to do it right now. Glue. Glue. Come on. Glue, 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 glue. Yes. <laughs> and then shove it in there. Go. Yeah. Cut the money in your Oh, yeah. Oh, look. Look. I've got a leg. Whoa. Okay. Just needed to get angry. Okay. So this is, this is still gonna possibly work ah. oh the sticky bits are everywhere okay so now I'm gonna stick that I don't know how how am I supposed to stick that on there I don't know um, cut it off I know what I'll do I'll squish it when in doubt squish the foil into shape so with my pliers I'm gonna squish it over and squish it around a little bit and then I'm gonna hit it because I just want I'm getting angry now so I'm just going to hit it, there we go, smack it, and then, is it going to be the same height? It's probably not going to be the same height, of course it's not going to be the same height. Here, squish it again, squeeze little sucker, squeeze it, squeeze, and there we go. And then this side is kind of the same height kind of it's not really on the same angle but i don't care let's grab the where's the paper clip where's the bit with the sharp bit and then how is it supposed to be angled is sort of roughly like that okay just shove the paper clip into the tin foil <laughs> it's not going <laughs> it's not coming in <laughs> <laughs> hello walter how are you are you the demon in your group um not right now but usually i am yes now uh, hence i run a uh, channel where um uh, apparently you get to watch me try to make stuff it's not going in guys here give me a second um joe smiley arts and craft with the hulk yeah well this that's uh you showed up for good stuff, I'll tell you that now. Here we go. I'm doing it. I still won't go in. Shove it in! Oh god, baby! Okay, right. Sod you, you. Ah. Alright, what do I need? I need a tool. I know what I need. I need a drill. I'm gonna get the drill out. Yeah, that's right. This is a Citadel drill. This little hand drill. I'm not pulling out the pig power drill. Don't, don't get too carried away there. All right, we'll just, just chuck that over there and then pull this. This is this is like awesome, this thing. Is there like a drill bit in there? Do I even remember how to use it? Is, there's a drill bit in there. And is it roughly the right size? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Let's use it anyway. <laughs> All right, and then, then we put this over here, out of the way. Then, which way is the little thing going? So turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Ah! Oh, 
Come on. It's got to be on the right side. I don't know if I have to pull it out. That's just from his sack. Oh, not too far. Too far. Stop it. Stay. Stay and turn. No. Yes. Yes. I got it. <sighs> right. Drill. Yeah. Look at this. See? Now, don't drill your fingers. I probably will, but you should not. Okay, and I drill a hole in there, like so. And someone says, look, Fred Blood, and I say, yes, it's mine. Um, is that deep enough? If it's not, I don't care. Anyway, um, <clears throat> let's, uh, <sighs> something happened here, something happened here along the way, and, right, glue. Let's stick Bit of glue there. Oh no, too much, too much. Work quickly. Oh, it's hot. Oh, oh, aha, aha. Ouch, 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 ouch. I should have, that's right, I'm holding tin foil. Of course it's going to be hot. What were you thinking, you idiot? Oh, ah, 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 Um, um, panicking. <laughs> All right, hang on, give me a second. Um, dang, sound like I missed some fun. Someone dropped on my desk something. Okay, uh, I'm cutting the glue that's left over off. Just look at this. Look. Look. Come here. Go. Cheesh. All right. Very, very soon there will be blood, I'm sure. Trust me, it's worth hanging around. Uh, uh, what would be your favorite monster to build if time wasn't an obstacle? Um, a monster that requires as little time as possible to make right now, honestly. <laughs> no hammer drills. No hammer drills. It's very, very tempting though, I tell you. All right, there's my pin. Oh God, I hope it's big enough. All right, let's jam it in there. Get it started. Ow, 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 the pin came through the other side. Ow, it hurt. It hurt. Hang on. Okay, pin's back and under control. I'm going to drill a hole in that as well. I'm going to wind up with a hole in my finger. Uh, hello, Jack. How you doing, mate? Um, I'd, uh, I'd, 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 I'd love to say hi and everything's going fine. Um, my suggestion to you is that uh, you just close your ears if you hear anything bad, okay, because it's probably going to happen very soon. It has happened I think, a couple of times. Um, there we go. That, that'll glue in place. Let's just get the glue, stick the glue there with the pin that I've made from the... And then I can't find the hole. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. I got it. I got it. Now, now he looks like, I don't know what he looks like. I've got, I've got legs. I didn't have legs before, but I have legs like, now. No, it's running away. Psh, glue everywhere. Okay, so this is definitely not um, an instructional video. This is just my um, complete nervous breakdown. It's tin foil, body time. We need, uh, do I want to make like a, uh, a lower t torso section and then stick that together? And it's like more bits to stick together. It's like harder and harder and harder. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to make the whole body in one piece. Screw it. So let's just, just squish up some tin foil and see what happens. Uh, all blisters from the hot glue gun. Well, I have, I have not really blistered myself with a hot glue gun so far. It is still a possibility. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Fred needs an adult. Is there an adult in the room? Because I need one right now. Um, okay. More tin foil. This is the starting of a body. And now, you got to wrap it. Couple of times. I don't know how many times. I've got no idea. If you want to know how many times I'm supposed to wrap it, just if it looks alright, then it's cool. If it doesn't, doesn't. 
this is good enough good enough now I want the top section of this body how do I do that how do I do that I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking I fold it fold the foil uh, Jack nervous breakdown today um, the foam I should have known it was pink it was gonna just didn't like turn to mush on me it was utter waste of time I don't even know what, what am I gonna do with a whole lot of pink foam now I mean seriously <clears throat> make an invisible stalker well that's very easy it's put done all good uh, now get the foam and sculpt the body no I'm not sculpting the body from foam I'm using the tin foil at least I know what tin foil does I can I can at least shape that oh. Uh, I'm not even tearing it up in, a, in sort of nice strips or anything really. Just fold it like that. Just, no, what am I doing for it? Just build it around there. Keep building it up. Build it up. <sighs> Great technique. Tin foil is a super strong base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, you, you are absolutely right. You want to come and give us a hand with this because I'm struggling today. And it's just super strong base with with paper clip pins no pins in my fingers yet the plaster is not from this build don't <laughs> if you're thinking that I had already, already hurt myself um, and I required plasters already no no okay so and then body body what do you reckon is it close enough uh, I don't know let's do it again I want my mummy, I want my mummy God, just stick it in place like so And I think that made it worse And I'm going to have to put more tin foil on there to make that look less like A big ball attached to a long sausage Look at that, that's just No, no, that does not work Um Tin foil and shreds everywhere. Ah, long piece, long piece, long piece, long piece, long piece. Fold a little bit of it. Oh, I've got tin foil stuck to me. Oh, I'm sticky too. <laughs> and then a fling it around the bat. And then around. And it's easy. Look. Really easy to make one of these. Look at the much easier. Ooh, ooh, look, not not hard at all. Anybody can do this. <clears throat> Joe, but poor Fred isn't the, the isn't this your vacation time? It is my vacation time. This was supposed to be relaxing. This is not relaxing. It's certainly entertaining, I suppose, to somebody to watch as they melt. Um, I am melting because of the window being closed. The window is closed. I might open the window up. Can I hear a bark chipper? Uh, I can't make anything out. I might just open it up anyway. At least if I'm going to have to suffer, I won't have to cook. Oh, will you stay in place? Oh, I know. That's right. What I do is be careful not to burn yourself. Hot glue gun. Stick it down and it'll stay there. And then, oh, not, not on my, <laughs> almost stuck it on wrong place. And then press it down with something that isn't your finger, and it stays there. Ta-da! What? Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. Bingo. Good enough. So, now I've got to figure out how to stick this silly thing onto those legs. That is going to be difficult. I feel like I've just created myself another problem. I might have to use pins. Um, I'm glad it's relaxing for you, Darren. Um, 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 the legs, the problem with these legs aren't actually going to be thick enough for me to stick a pin through without making a mess. So what am I going to do? <coughs> Get the little bits. Stop, stop it. Stop it! Little thin strips. Thin strips. And then... I'm going to wind it round that and try to build it up and make it a little bit thicker so the leg doesn't collapse underneath me somehow like that. 
Uh, drill through the hips and pin it through the hips. Through the hips. Hip. Yeah, I was thinking through the hips, but what do you mean? Like right through and then pin it? I feel like it's going to look weird. I, I want it to go underneath. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. I need to. I need to bang it. And then it flattens some spaces, and then I figure out how to attach it. Uh, and then squish it there a little bit. And then just, uh, yeah. All right, so that's that's probably a good idea. I'm going to use the tin foil again. Um, <clears throat> wrap it round. Wrap it like so. This is so easy. Oh, I, I, I know exactly what I'm doing. It was just get the little bits of tin foil and then you stick it around and you squeeze it in place. And if it stays there, you're lucky. Oh, it doesn't seem like it's staying there very well. Um, if I haven't squeezed it on good enough, I didn't wrap it enough times. Did I not, did not wrap it enough times. Get some more tin foil. Okay, so now the legs are getting bigger. Um, uh, how many times do I need to do that? I don't know. Stop it, Fred. There. My, um, just, uh-huh. It's squeeze it in place like that, like so, and then just squeeze and get rid of all the little bubbles of little stuff there and then she's good. Right through was my, my thinking then bend the wire into a U shape. Ooh! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, whoops. Now that leg's a lot bigger than the other one. Um, um, okay. I'll stick it on place. Yeah, stick it. This reminds me of the days when I was trying to do that really big one that was really hard. And uh, I used tin foil and a lot of drying clay, and that was super easy too. <laughs> um, okay, let us see. Fold that, wrap that round, make that a little bit thicker, and then the pinning idea might work. No. Yeah. Like. Ooh. Okay. That's. Nope. Stick it down. Fret. Glue. Little fiddly bits everywhere. Come here. Why isn't it got working? It's not working. Oh, it's come to the end. Hang on. Another glue stick. Feed it in. And. Cool. Glue. Yeah. Got you. And now, not my fingers, just that. I wish I would. Uh, I should have got my my uh, my sculpting tools out so I could actually push things around. Oh, I do have them here. There they are. We're all good. We're all good. Panic is averted. I'm all good, guys. It's all good. I'm fine. I'm calm, but it's it's, it's going to work out. It's just going to take me a lot longer. Hope you're going to be around for a long time. There's sticky bits everywhere. Okay, I'm going to drill. As Darren has suggested, I'm going to drill right through here, bend it round, and then go from there. Where's the drill? Can I get the drill all the way through? Ooh, it's going to be interesting. Um, do I want to do that? I'm just... Yes, I do. I want to do that. I'm going to drill it. because I... Once it's in place, I don't care after that. I just build stuff around it. Drill through the little body in the boy. Ooh, that's not very straight. Okay. All right, so... That would have been fine as long as it had gone in straight, but I've, apparently I have not drilled a straight line. In fact, I've definitely not drilled a straight line. <clears throat> Never mind. Let's shove this paper clip through there. And I will just bend it and shape it and move it around. And now I've got to figure out 
where it needs to bend so I can attach it to the little feet, legs, things. Uh, how deep do I want to go? I don't want to go too deep because it's going to be a problem. And then I'll bend it there like uh, so. And, and then I bend it here like so. And then we've, we've got something going on here. So then we'll cut this off. Ooh, there we go. One is longer than the other. Ah! Darn it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I've done that, Darren. I've bent it through. I've, I've... One is longer than the other, but I don't think it... I don't care now. I just don't. So what do I... What do I need to... Make it stay in place. That's what I want it to do. Is stay there. It's not going to stay there. Can I push that in? No. No, I can't. I have to drill a hole. Of course I have to drill a hole. I've had to drill a hole of everything else. I should have drilled a hole to begin with. Let's drill a hole. Try not to screw that up, Fred. And drill that hole into the tin foil. And it's not doing what I want it to do. Okay. No, I didn't drill it into my fingers. I was only kidding. Only kidding. Uh, right through was my thought then been a little while ago. You can fix it in place with hot glue when you've uh, attached the legs and then work the glue to the lot of the Yeah, good, 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 good move. Yep, Darren, good advice. Good advice, absolutely. Good advice. Let's... Whoa, that went really far. I wonder what happened there. <laughs> um, let's drill the other one. For those of you who don't know, um, aluminium dust is not good for you. So don't get it in your fingers. I probably will, but I feel like that's definitely deep enough. Now it's just a matter of figuring out how to glue the legs on so it doesn't look dorky. Um, thinking, dry fit first. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Is dry fit. If it works with a dry fit, we're in. If it doesn't, it doesn't there and there and then what will it look like it will look back to front I've managed to do it back to front oh my god he's back to front how did I manage that I know how I managed that because I, oh hang on I turn it around that helps put that leg there that's better and then that one there and then sorry guys I'm trying to keep it in the screen now is it gonna look all right it's gonna it's, it's it's not terrible it's not terrible okay we can do this that'll do it that'll make it happen test fix first yes test fix gonna make that or it's just Let's, uh, oh, where am I going to put the glue first? Put it on the, on the foot. And stick it in place. There's the hole. There is. And then I just push it in tight. And then let's do the next one before if this one dries. It'll probably have put it in the wrong position. Uh, wrong with the foot leg come here leg yeah cool that's that one done and then take it and then jam it in place it doesn't want to go I can't find the hole <laughs> it's not going in there Oh, now the other side's broken. Oh, no. Okay. Gah. Yeah. All right. That's, that's not brilliant, I have to admit. Not brilliant, but... Um, a bit of glue. And some repositioning, maybe. Like so... And she's good. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. 
as long as nobody comes and touches it, we'll be fine. Let's move that out of the way. Oh, that's not stuck, and that's not stuck in place. Ah, glue. This is good. There we go. Stick in place and legs apart and hold and hold and glue right okay i'm just going to take a breather just for a second while i hold this in place posture looks good yes um he, he does he looks like he's actually standing up rather than standing um backwards or forwards or something like that so um i feel like i can probably maybe get away with gluing the feet on i'm reluctant to but um yeah if I stick that on there, then that will that give me enough to sort of work with to deal with the head and the legs. Legs? No. Arms. Arms. I've got to do arms. Oh my god, I've got to do arms. Oh my god, I didn't think about that. I've still got to do the arms. There. Yeah. That one is kind of in place. That one's partly in place. Let's put some glue on there. More glue. When in doubt, chuck more glue on. Okay. And then he's, he's standing. Oh, 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 all right. Okay. I'm going to leave that for a second. Posture is good. We've got some little dingly dangly bits over here, so we'll get rid of them. And I'm going to wipe my hands and get the sweat off them since I've been freaking out so much. And I'm going to get myself some more tin foil, and I'm going to make some big long sausages. And I'm not going to make it in two parts. I'm going to make it in one part and bend it at the elbow. Arms. Here we go. Uh, how do I do this? Uh, uh, uh. Ta da! And then. Fold in half. I know you can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I, oh, ah! Okay, stay there. Stay. Okay, all right. That's it. I'm gluing it in place. Blue gun, come on, you. There, and the other one like lots of it and then just get it onto the base faster and spread the legs so it's nice and firm and then squish it down and there's heat traveling through the uh, aluminium foil into my fingers and it's feeling quite warm uh, down you go baby down you go But the posture is look at that oh oh okay all right and now let's tear through this bit a couple of bits of tin foil let's do that again All right, so I've got myself some long bits of tin foil, long bits, and I'm gonna just nope, fold it, and then tear it, tear it, no, nope, tear it, yes, tear it. There. All right, I got four bits, and I'm gonna move my my space is covered in little bits of filing metal files so I'll just push them over there so I don't hurt myself I do not want them in my fingers and then I will roll sausages it's sausage making time and sausages sausages no I can't eat sausages anyway I can make sausages out of tin foil so condense it condense it condense it and roll Condense it, condense it. 
feel like <clears throat> that is a long arm. <laughs> mm, it's only kidding. It's not supposed to be an arm yet. Just that there. Just squish it up. And it should be strong. Okay. Is my arm going to be too long? Will I have an arm so long? So long, too long to be long. It's going to be really long. Okay. So I've got to figure out exactly how long I want the silly thing to be so I can attach it. <clears throat> Fold it. And fold it, and fold it, and there. Well, that's kind of where I need it to be. I won't bend the arm yet. And I will roll this little sucker up and do it again. So, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, raw hard, heavy metal. Yeah, we're making our miniatures out of heavy metal. And squidge, 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 and squidge, 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 and shoulder bend, shoulder bend, and squish. And then what's this supposed to be? This be a fist, I guess. So we'll fold it like a wrap it like a something like that it does not look like a fist it doesn't even look remotely thick enough arm one no i'm only kidding i'll do more um, can I, earth elements will be made out of metal you won't even know that it's made out of metal i won't even know it's made out of metal oh yes rival. it just has to look like an earth elemental right i can stick things to it this is definitely going to wind up being two videos. I had, I do apologise now for those people who have showed up and hope it would all be done in one, one session. <laughs> it's probably not going to be that way. It's no, it's not. That's long. And fold it. And then see how long it is. It's way too long. <sighs> Metal is in the ground. Yep. Exactly, metal is part of the earth. Uh, and then bend at that end over, and then bend at this end. And that doesn't look like an arm, I know. Um, let's keep doing this. Let's roll it, roll it, roll it. Darren, don't get put. Pulled over for traffic violations with a uh, a baggy a, ba a baggy full of arms, Fred. Yeah, ah 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 ah. That was good, Darren. That was very good. That was very good. There are hardly any firearms in New Zealand. Um, well, not not real ones, anyway. Now I um, I've only got two arms as it is, so I'm all good. <laughs> Squish that over, and then which way is that going to go? I don't know. Um, there, like that. No, it's not the right length. Is it the right length? Right length, not really. Where's my pliers? Give me a pin pliers. Scrunch it up. Oh, for those of you who um, don't watch his channel, go check out. Uh, Blanco, he does videos on where to get cheap miniatures, so you don't have to make them. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um, yes, don't uh, don't feel like you need to go right this moment now. You don't have to go and watch this channel right now. You can hang around. Right, so I know that doesn't look like arms. I know it doesn't look like an earth elemental. I'm going to grab some more tin foil and. Tin foil, tin foil, tin foil. And then 
And what am I doing? Let's tear it in half, tear it in half like this. Bits like this, here we go. This is very, very high tech. This is, this is all the stuff you see um, people do, probably not, um, in the background before they give you the three minute video or 10 minute video all sped up and not in real time of how they did their builds. It's probably nothing like this. Um, okay, so let's just wrap that. Let's wrap it again. And then squidge it, squidge it, squidge it, squidge it, squidge it, squidge it. Okay, I've got myself, I've got myself a fairly solid bit now. And I feel like it's the beginning. Um, let's do that again. A little bit more. Roll, 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 roll around. Roll, 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 roll. Oh, no, it's gone long. Stay in place. In place. Okay. Squeeze it around. Squidge it up. Squidge it up. Squidge it. Squidge. 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 And bend. And ta -da! Next. Um, what are we doing? We're gonna make forearms. Let's make the forearms. These forearms are bigger, right? Forearms can kind of look like big fists doesn't require an awful lot of technical skill on my part or yours. So we'll fold this in half. And then if I fold that in again. Ta-da! And then if I take an end that looks like it's the wider bit, and then I wrap that around there. And then keep going. And then keep going, and then keep going, and then squidge it in like so. It's not, it looks nothing like it, I know. Um, just hang on, glue. Where's that old tweezer thingies? I don't have tweezers, Fred. You have sculptor, scalpel or crafting petty thing. There you go. Pat, 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 don't use your finger, don't use your finger. Roll it without burning yourself. Okay. Look, it's getting there. I know it's it's not exactly what you would expect it, but it's getting there. Um, and then I fold this there, and then fold that there, and then this one which end looks fatter. Let's go with this one side. And then just roll it. Get out of the way. And then, come on. Yep. That'll, 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 kind of not working that well, but. So, I, so I'm going to have to put more glue there. I know. I put glue. It's kind of folded over, not that bad. Get the gun, gun, glue gun. Squirt. Like so. Where's my little tool? Not my hand, not my hand, not my hand. Tool and roll that over. And then... Good. Cool. Technically, um... They're not the same length. <sighs> really, Fred? Okay, give me a second. I will. I can't cut it. I'm going to. I'm going to fold it. I'm going to fold this end here. It's going to have really big shoulder on one side. Oh, good lord! It's fighting with me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Is it close enough? Maybe if I do this. Yep, that'll do. I know this is much better than I expected. Well, I don't know that it is, it's, is, is it really? Um, I feel like that one's not quite as bunchy up. It doesn't look like Popeye's arm. Uh, well, there's some foil there. More foil. Let's 
do the foily thing and then wrap, wrap it around that one there and then squidge it, squidge it, squidge it, squidge it. Uh, good. Look. This is going to be the worst earth elemental under the sun. I can see it now. And then... Uh, Oh, ah, hot, 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 ooh, 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 tall, where's it? Uh, by the way, um, aluminium conducts heat, and if you put uh, hot glue on it, the heat transfers, and um, you can hurt yourself. I have a low resistance to heat, apparently. Okay, okay, I've got two wacky looking bits of aluminium, which are going to be arms. I am now cleaning off the sweat from my fingers as I try to fathom how I'm going to stick them on the miniature. Um, I want to bend them a bit. It's just weird to bend them. Bend them in roughly the same place or bend them not in the same place. This arm goes like... Bleh, broke his arm! <laughs> uh, no. So, so I've bent his arm, and and then I just bend it a little bit more so it doesn't look quite so. I don't know. Does that look the same? Will it be roughly in the right place? I've no idea. Um, but that's what we'll do. And then, how do I make this side work? Uh, potatoes, you're making me hungry. I feel the urge to have a baked potato. Exactly. I should make a potato man. Potato man. That would be easier, probably. Um, so if that is slightly twisted and curves, and then I go, snap. Yeah. There we go. That is kind of that side of that miniature, roughly. If you use your imagination, it's Dungeons and Dragons after all. Um, okay. I am still wondering how I'm going to attach all of this. I feel, feel like it's going to have to be pinned, obviously. Um, the question is, how? Because that's wide. Fred, you're overthinking it. Just get the sodding arms on. Um, arms there. E no, it doesn't look right at all. That looks really weird now. That looks even weirder, Fred. What are you doing? Um, okay. All right. I'm going to drill some holes. I'm going to put some pins in. I'm going to go from there. Uh, show, who's this, who's this, who's this, um, Jojo Bean, one, two, one, nine, this is cool, you are welcome, I'm glad you are enjoying yourself, um, Darren, uh, looks good to me, man, okay, oh, good to me, shoot me up, please, uh, been a sub for a while, yeah, Jojo Bean, one, two, one, two, one, nine, got it right, hope I did, okay, right, let's drill some holes. In the sides of the body, Fred, in the sides. Let's stick it roughly about there. Ooh, that went deep. And a pin. Where's, where's it going to go? Stick it that way. Okay, so let's stick it in place, Fred, before you get any, any smart ideas. Shove it in there. Yeah. I know the pin is too long. Um, no. Oh, I've made a mistake. I should have pinned, put the pins into the arms and then put them into the body. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. Um, okay, clip it off. Bam. Okay, so now, this arm, which looks wacky, but we're still going to do it. 
because I want to go in because I've got to drill a hole in it and I'll see if we'll make it work. Oh, there's little sticky bits everywhere. Here we go. Uh, just get out of the way, guys. You're ma making me nervous. And drill. Drill, 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 drill. Jeez, there's not much to drill into. If I even drilled in, oh, geez, maybe. Dry fit. Um, that looks really, really stupid, Fred. It really does. Look, what if it, what if we just, if I do that, does that look better? No, it doesn't look better, Fred. Look at that. That just looks dumb again. And scrunch it round this way, and then go over the. Psh, and now, what does it look like? I can't find the hole. There was a hole. There it is. Uh, it still looks weird. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm not doing anything useful, I can tell you that. Oh, I should have drilled the hole in the end. Oh, okay. Drill another hole. In the end. Okay, let's see if that works. Ah, oh my gosh. Ah, God. Okay, so it's not brilliant, but it will do. I'm going to stick it in place. Where is it? Glue. Glue. Okay, that's it. And now. Ta da! Ta da! Just fucking stay. <laughs> there we go! One, two, three. Breathe. One, and two. And three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Ah. Ah. Okay. All right. So, I am going to do the sensible thing this time. And I am going to drill the hole into the arm first, and put the pin in the arm. And then I'm going to attach it to the body. Move the little thing out of the way. And that's roughly where it needs to go. And now we stick my drill here. I tell you, buying this drill was worth it. For those of you who think, Fred, it's an expensive drill. I tell you, this thing has saved me so many times. And this is one example of when I have definitely needed it. Right, so that... Looks all right. We stick some glue there, and she's all good. Uh, no, that, if there's more people watching, then I've got to talk to more people. I'm only kidding, guys. I'm only kidding. I'm a small channel. It is. It is the fact of life. Now, where is the spatula thing? I don't know. Well, it's stuck. Now I just need to drill a hole in the side of the body. That side is kind of stuck in place. It looks like this. I know it doesn't look like an earth elemental. Um, and I'm going to try to attach me arm. Or its arm. Let's, let's drill it in. Go in there, baby. Yeah. Whoa, that went deep. Well, what deep is probably better than not deep in. So. And it's drilled. So how far can I clip that thing off and then shove it in the hole? I can do it pretty long. So let's go with there. Dong. And then let's assemble. First, and hold, and hold, and hold, and hold, and hold, and it won't go. It's too long. Let's trim it again. Go, chop, tall, ta, to do, to do, to do, to do. 
I know it's upside down, but it's not for me. Uh, it's what? What's going on there? Ah, that's what I, what I want to do. I want to bend the arm a little bit. I want it to look like a break dancer. No, I don't want him to look like a break dancer. Deep is better, Fred. Yep, Chris, I totally agree. Let's go with that. Um, is it a game workshop? It is the, uh, which one is this? It's the Citadel uh, drill. It's that one. Uh, let's stick that in there. Let's go in. Lots of glue. I'll put more glue on this thing later on. Just you watch me when I'll go bananas with a glue gun. There we go. And then scrudge that baby in like so. Like you mean it. Like you mean it. Hold, hold it in place. I think it's got, it's going to be good. Yeah, she's on. It's standing. And it's all finished now. No more. <laughs> Nothing left to do. <laughs> I am such a tease. I am terrible. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Make a magnetic metal um, elemental with a sledgehammer fist. Mm, no, no, it's going to be an earth elemental. I, I, will, I will find a way of turning it into an earth elemental. Um, just because it hasn't got paint on it, that would make a difference, I'm sure. Now, first I've got to stick a head on it. A head. How do I do that? Oh, that's right. More aluminium. I mean, tin foil. You're done. It's a tinfoil golem with no head. <laughs> That's because somebody chopped it off. Uh, Brandon, how's it going, Brandon? Welcome to my insanity. Right. So now that I've got myself a bit of tinfoil, I'm going to scrunch it up like that. And then it's got to be shaped into a head. And... Uh, All right, it is not quite the right shape yet. And uh, yeah, if it's, it's gonna hit, hit it. And then, uh, good, pretty Look. Da -da. Kind of the right shape. I don't know about the actual features on it looking quite right, but it kind of looks like the head. And I hate it. Oh, it looks terrible. Uh, that's right, because I've got to stick it into its chest, or maybe it, it's just not tall enough. Is it, the top of the body is just not big enough at the top. Do you know what it is? I'm having second thoughts. I am flattening it. Okay, give me a second. More tin foil. And in a calm and sedate manner, I will attach a bit more up top, making its arms and body section slightly more pronounced. Like this. Hello, how's it going, Carter Videos? How are you doing? Everything's good here, nothing to worry about. Feel free to chat, I am not stressed at all. How are you doing? It drops a plus 10 uh, bludgeoning glove with monks. Monks, yeah. That's right, I love monks, it's a good, it's a good start. Keep talking about the monks. Love them, love them, love them. I like making miniatures, don't I? That's right, I do. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Let's squish it up. And then, it looks like shoulder pads. No, it doesn't. It looks really stupid. What are you doing, Fred? Okay, give me a second. Oh no. <coughs> Oh, God. God. Wait. God. 
The sound effects cannot be claimed if you decide to claim on this video my sound effects. I will take you to court. They are my own. They are my own. That still looks really bad. What am I doing? Um, just squish it. Squish. Okay. All right. So if I stick that there, and then I stick wherever the heck this is supposed to be, it's supposed to be a head of some kind, there, is that kind of, no, no it's not, um, uh, do it anyway, doing it anyway, just drill a hole in the thing, where's, this, where's my drill, and Two, two, two pins, one pin, two pins, one pin, two pins, one pin. One pin's easier to actually deal with. So make sure you don't drill into your fingers when you're doing this, because I almost did. And then I've got to try and figure out roughly where I want to place it. It's about there in the top. Uh, drill a hole, like so. And go down to China. Timbatu. Um, stick a piece of paper clip in there, like so. Stick it in the hole. Uh, <clears throat> Chris Collins, what do you got here? Um, I'm going to add Fred as an NPC in my game, the eccentric um, foil manipulator uh, in Sundry. Yep. Okay. You're welcome to do that. I'm fine with that. You're just not allowed to copy my... Ah, ah, ha, 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 <laughs> That's hot. Okay. <clears throat> Who is part barbarian for rage? Super guys. Hello, go. How's it going, Joe? Um, you've, you've showed up at just the right moment. Things are coming along. Um, I know it doesn't look like an Earth Elemental at all, even remotely like an Earth Elemental, but I have been trying. Um, it has been trying me, to be fair, I don't think it was fair that the foam uh, did not work and I'm still not happy about the fact that it didn't. So, there we go, that's that, and then we stick this on, I, don't, I know it looks dorky but I, I feel like I'm going to use other things to, to build it out and I feel like it's... I want it to be more impressive, and it doesn't look impressive, it just looks weird. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna go, oh hang on, that's right, M metal heats up, put it on the thing I'm not holding. That's it. Oh, I almost forgot, almost, and then, chuck that in, he's got some shoulder pads. I will, um, I will figure out how to solve, but it gives me something to sort of stick the head into, right? If I can figure out which side is supposed to be the head. It just looks like a big... Does this just look like a big ball of tinfoil to you? Because right now, it just looks like a big ball of tinfoil, and I don't know if it even could be a head. I mean, it might be a head, but where, where would you say the face is? Um, it might be there. It could be somewhere else. I, I just don't know. Um, give me a second. Just scrunch it up. Joe, there's so much going on. What's that, Chris? You've got an idea. Um, Fred is now an eccentric gnome tinkerer. Oh, don't make me a small person. Don't make me a small person. I'm short enough as it is. I don't need to be made a gnome. Oh, God. Right, look. Look. It's... It isn't going to be too bad. I just got to figure out how to put some, I don't know, a mouthful something in there. How do I do a mouth? Um, I need a, I feel like I need to bang it with something. Make me feel better. Hang on, give me a second. Don't, don't, don't move. And. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Don't ever tell me that you don't have the creative um, techniques to do this stuff. Because if that is creative and technical, I tell you, it is not. It is. I just jammed a tool like this flat 
into the head to make a mouth. And then, how do I make eyes? Oh, I know. On a slight angle. And I will just go, scrunch. And then, scrunch. Same technique as the alien yesterday. I mean the needle blight yesterday. And it doesn't need to be super awesome. I don't know. It's, let's get the thing in there. Before I lose my mind. Um, I've got Dungeons and Dragons tonight, by the way, for those of you who are wondering uh, why I am live streaming um, on a day where I normally don't. It's because I'm not working. And yeah. Um, I have Dungeons and Dragons. So I'm going to feel much better. I'm going to definitely be using my... Oh, yeah, you are going to stay right there. So I need to drill a hole in the back of the head. <laughs> We're going to drill a hole in the back of the head. Like so. And once that's done, I'm going to stick a pin in there. I'm going to shove it on the body. And that'll do for today, before I lose it. Uh, there's my paper clip that I straightened. Very technical stuff. That this must be an, an Eberron um, elemental. No, I, I know nothing really about Eberron. I would love to know more about Eberron. I just never have time for that stuff. Da -da. Look, it's a head on a stick. Uh, oh, he speaks. He speaks. And look, flying head. Oh. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Just waiting for it to dry. Darren, um, you can totally build on that shape, Fred. Oh, cool, good, I'm, I'm glad. Uh, thin layers of milli putt and, uh, and you are rocking. Oh, are you planning on wrapping the, the model in putty? Oh, I, I think I should do that. I think I should do that. Not today, but it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Mm. I should maybe I should use the putty. I'd hoped that I wouldn't have to, and that the the soft foamy stuff would work, but it didn't. Uh, what, you're saying a word I cannot pronounce. Trifantpimla uh, tree trifant trifant trifant. That motif Fred. Mof mof mofo. Mofo, Fred. Mofo. Okay, look. Um, it is clear at this present time that my mind is not working great. So um, I'm going to try to drill another hole, stick this head with on this wire into this thing, and then I'm going to go and have some food. And, and we will come back to this some other day. The wire is too big. I do realize that it's far too big. Um, we're going to cut it. Give me a second. And how much do I cut off, Fred? How much? It's kind of need to be longer rather than shorter to start with. Whoa! It's, um, it means drilling holes in a person's head to let out demons. Oh, I wasn't doing that. It's not really what I had in mind. Um, let's do that again. Let's bend. Still not quite what I was had in mind, so let's just cut that off a little bit. Yeah. So, and then shove that little baby in there. And then, should I have it side on, or should I go tilt head slightly to side as if he's confused? Uh, ah. Um, kind of looks weird there. I might do that. Just slightly off, off, off center. Slightly off center. Right, let's glue it in place. Uh, it means on, oh, but it still needs for actual brain surgery. Well, it's I'm. This is not brain surgery. I can assure you right now. Brandon, how's it going? I hope you have a roll of bunch of twenties in the, your games. Thank you. Um, I'm just hoping that I don't wind up setting my party a, a, fly, a flame with um, fireball or um, turning it into a pot plant again or a sheep. Um, each of which was extremely funny but did not help to the combat situation that they were engaged in. Uh, and then just like so. Right. 
So after um, what has to be about an hour and a half, um, we have got to this stage. Uh, does this mean it's finished? No, no, it probably doesn't. Um, does it look like the miniature that I had planned to make? No, no, it doesn't. Um, will it look like the miniature in the future when I continue this? Probably not. Will I continue to work on this live streamed? Yes, because I'm that kind of guy. Uh, when will that be? It won't be tomorrow because I have plans. I have uh, something easier to do. I thought I would actually talk about uh, Dungeons and Dragons campaign starters uh, rather than this sort of thing. Um, and this is definitely much harder than I had expected. But uh, for those of you who can see no detail because of course it's made out of tin foil and everything just looks the same, um, I'm going to figure out how to make this work. So, um, if you uh, enjoyed watching this nonsense, uh, please share and like the video with your friends. Uh, liking the video is always good. If you thought it was complete rubbish, I do understand if you hit the thumbs down button. Uh, if you want to see more of this nonsense, uh, me trying to make cheap D&D miniatures, well, trust me, it's not easy. Uh, then you are welcome to subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified when I go live and when I publish new videos, which does happen from time to time. If you want to support my channel, you support my channel by sitting through this. Well done. Um, you have, you get full points, you get cookies and uh, cream and um, some milk if you can drink milk, that is. <clears throat> uh, if you want to watch more of my videos, I do have more videos that do involve me making miniatures and doing other things. Uh, I think some of them are probably more successful than this. Uh, I know they are very long, so maybe speed them up to make it a little bit more consumable. If you want to really support me, I don't do Patreon and don't plan to, but you can buy stuff online from Amazon and the Book Depository. I have affiliate links down in the description. You can do that, or you can just come back and watch me do this some other time and continue to try and fix this thing up. Now, if you have any comments and feedback that you want to share with me in the live chat, the time is now before I disappear. Otherwise, um, and I would like to thank everybody who decided to sit through this, by all means you have done incredibly well and you are loyal people who I appreciate very, very much. Um, but if you're not part of the live stream and you want to make a comment, whether it be good or bad, I generally just ignore all the bad stuff, so there's no point making any bad comments anyway. So uh, you're welcome to just make good comments, I'm fine with that, or just uh, give me advice on what I should have done uh, to make it a little bit easier for myself so I don't have so much stress in my life. Uh, by all means, add that in the comments section. It could help me for the future. Um, the whole idea is to do things that are low stress rather than high stress, and uh, this was kind of high stress. Uh, <clears throat> otherwise, till next time, uh, keep rolling those 20s. And do not use pink, soft EVA foam, because it, it sucks. It's really, really sucks to work with. It's appallingly bad, in fact. So just forget it. And that's me. And I'm gone. And I've finished. I'll see you later.